Hello everybody, Glitcher Beer. You may not recognize me too much because I'm a Steve right now. Why? Because this is an offline recording, but I'm not letting that stop me. Okay, the thing is that the Warden has been out for a little while now. I was going to do this earlier, but stuff happened, including me trying to figure out what was going wrong with my experimental snapshot download. Uh, eventually, I think it fixed itself, so I have a feeling it may have just been bad timing with the internet corrupting the file a few times or something, but I, I got it through eventually. Anyhow, I wanted to do, of course, the mob battle with the Warden, uh, but I'm going to be doing it a bit differently, as I'm going to do it as a uh, uh, Minecraft mob battle science uh, run of a few times, and this may change a bit, and th so this will be the Warden version 1. So, V1 here. Uh, the thing is, currently they have it as undead, and this may change in the future. And there may be added behaviors and stuff, so this is going to be kind of a bit uh, preemptive. But it's still going to be pretty impressive, because it's the Warden. This, the, These things are terror units, by my definition, of what means to be a terror unit. So basically something that serves a particular faction as its elite combat unit, and, and something that's not necessarily the leader, but is just like an absolute, like, engine of destruction. And that's pretty much what the uh, Warden is. Now, the first ones won't be quite as uh, impressive, because I'm going to have to group this between uh, the Overworld, the Nether, and the End for now. Although, if another dimension is added at some point because of that uh, mysterious portal thing, uh, then, uh, well, we'll see what bosses wind up in there. But for now, we'll start off with pretty much just the best that the overworld has to offer. So, a witch, an evoker, a ravager, elder guardian, and of course an iron golem. And I have a netherite sword with smite 5 just to uh, take things out later on. But for now, uh, it's about showtime. And I, I need to make sure, of course, I... Yeah, okay, yep, everything should be fine. Now, the thing about the Warden is uh, it won't necessarily rise in the, uh, in the way that's going to be here, but this will illustrate it a lot better. And, of course, it would be interesting to set up a, a skulk area to just let Wardens pound things. There you go. Hi there, Warden. Now, how suspicious are you of a witch? Because it, it attacks based on suspicion. The witch walks. The Warden starts wondering what's going on. And the witch gets one shot as soon as the warden gets officially mad. So, yeah. <laughs> it's also true of the evokers, I believe. We could take them a while, because they, they don't like walking around as much, because they like being in one spot, casting their spells. But, uh... It will sniff things out, too. Kind of. <laughs> I mean... It had an opportunity, it's like, eh, maybe not. But sooner or later, the guy's gonna set him off. Up, oh, got his attention. So, later on, whenever I can have something, uh, make them aggressive towards the warden, it, it, it will still be short lived. But at least they'll have had a hit in. But that'll have to wait until the proper. Uh, mods become updated. Of course, just how much do you really need to provoke the warden for it to get aggressive? He's being pretty wise to stay in in, in one place right now. He's like, nah, I'm not making that mistake. Like, I'm not bothering this thing. I, I, I'm just standing right here. So he's doing his best at, at just staying in, in place. So much that the warden has actually left the area. He's like, no. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. I can just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Evoker, you've managed to to kind of... Uh, uh, okay, you, you avoided out the word. But I bet a Ravager will not. Up. Oh. Then again, the Evoker may have moved. I think the Evoker was curious about the Ravager that I put in place there. Ow, he's officially mad. Ravager dealt some damage, but let's face it, the Warden is not impressed. Now, our golems go right for him. And get smashed because of it. Right now, the evoker's being the wisest by just standing there. Although, well, now that he's moved around a bit. Oh, yeah, I didn't really feel the, the daylight cycle there. He's not burning in the sunlight, so even though he counts as undead, he's also somewhat immune right now. And that's one way to get a uh, totem of undying. Curiosity, can I have a di a, like a number of iron golems or ravagers actually deal him significant damage? It would take a while. Because the iron golems just get smashed so fast. Although, here's a consideration. If you were to continuously feed an iron golem, like if you had just the right venue to do so, could you use one to take out a warden by doing that? If something tells me it would take a while. And like a lot of iron. But at least it seems to be something that's working. Just keep healing the iron golem with iron. As fast as you can, just keep keep clicking. Or at least sneaking behind the iron golem. Yep, that's one way to take out a warden. Uh just to feed an iron golem an absolute boatload of iron. Uh, if anybody knows how many times I actually healed the Iron Golem, then that could theoretically be calculated. Of one Iron... well, I'd have to do it from the start, actually. So assume well, this is one Iron Golem, and this is one Warden, because I, I kind of had it previously injured, so... Okay. In this case, assume that... That uh, every time it cracks and then it suddenly heals, that's one Iron that I've given it. At least. So this is something you could do to take out the warden. It's just... And they have a very interesting death sound, my dad. Okay, so every time it bobs, because it's not bobbing whenever I'm uh, clicking on it with an iron ingot and the iron golem doesn't need it. So, there's that aspect of things. Now, obviously, you can't support a Ravager going up against an, uh, a Warden, but, theoretically, if there, if there was a raid going on, there'd be more than one Ravager. Oh, I definitely can't put the Warden over here. Okay. <laughs> There's no way I'm, I'm letting those poor turtles, uh, poor turtles get it. Uh, no, I haven't shown off the Elder Garden yet. I forgot about that, but it is kind of funny. 
happened in more than one way. Because, like, wardens don't swim very well, for one thing. Apparently we'll get vibrations through the water, though. Okay. Now, I'm trying to remember how many Ravagers are in a raid. Uh, that was unintentional. Ahem. Uh, another one of these for you. They have a very long aggro range against iron golems, so, yeah. We're checking each other out like, yeah, we both have horns. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, consider this the second one of the raid. I think there's about four or five to a raid, if it's a very big raid. And you go all the way. Yep, vibrations made by splashing in water definitely get the wood mad. But it doesn't move the water particularly well. Oh yeah, the team up. They see each other under attack, they will apparently team up. That's something good to know. Make a about five to one. It's like a herd of ravagers. Be considered a battalion of ravagers or a herd? Because they're behaving more like a herd. He's mad, but he can't get to them. Can be a serious flaw of wardens. Wardens apparently don't know how to swim. <laughs> Even just getting up like a one block thing. There's water. It's like, uh, I'm just stuck here. Bye. <laughs> Can I give you a pass? Be able to get up to them. Maybe, maybe not. I can get over to that one. I just can't get. The, the warden cannot get up in water. Uh, this is kind of hilarious. Uh, <laughs> okay, they're teaming up on. But will an already slightly weakened uh, warden be able to take on five Ravagers at once? Well, numbers are going down very quickly. So the answer is probably yes. Then again, maybe not. I want to start that over with a... With a fresh herd of five Ravagers. And a warning. But working as a team, Ravagers are pretty powerful. And, uh... Seeing how their HP combined and attack power combined is actually comparable. This might actually be a fairer match than I was first thinking. I know there's some funny results I've gotten in my testing that I've just got to show. But this is, this is like a complete experiment right off the bat. It's like, let's just go with five at once. Against one warden. Not exactly a battle royale, but pretty close. This guy's worth a pretty much a whole team. Yep, and then they've all aggroed at once. They're like, hey, hey, you're working on our teammates, so we're gonna work on you. Oh, 
Okay, they're dropping pretty fast. A full power, uh, like, like, no help off. Warden can take down five Ravagers at once. Okay, that was just to show that it still had some health already, uh, uh, still there and already gone, but e even, like, afterwards, that was a lot of health after those five Ravagers. How many Ravagers could this theoretically take? Uh, this could easily turn into, into that after a while, but uh, five or six is about what I noted in some raids, so I'd say that's at least comparable, so... I mean, you, you could get a lot of uh, very angry pillagers assisting under the right circumstances. Like, okay, let's say I have Ravager initiating it. Will some other, will the Evoker join in if it sees that the Ravager is fighting something? There's some other dynamics of the Illagers I'm trying to figure out, too. I know this has been around for a while when it comes to the Illagers, but... Soon, if the Warden roars or attacks, I put down people. Okay, he saw it happen, and yet he's doing nothing. So... Your sneak is much greater than your allies. I could certainly say that to Volker. Okay. Maybe there's some other villager alliance thing that might be able to help out with this. Even without using a full raid. Well, it would be good to have, like, a lot of them on, a, on the same team and, uh, cut loose. Although I'll have to figure out some more team dynamic stuff first. But so far, the Evoker is the smartest one as he just waits a good portion of the time. This time, not enough. Yeah. Totally not enough that time. Uh, you were not a particularly sneaky Evoker. You, 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 uh, you got wailed on by a Warden. So, yeah, you are gone. Now, Iron Golems, that, that one trick, that that's definitely something I'll have to keep in mind later, is like, you get them lined up just right, and you could theoretically just keep feeding an Iron Golem extra iron until it beats the Warden. So, th there is a hilarious thought that I don't know how many had actually thought of, but it, it's something. Meanwhile, it's, uh, for hilarity, let's go on with the uh, last one I was going to show there, because... They, they, they tend to jump around. It's the Elder Guardian. And it might be dealt some damage just because of the spikes. Or it might withdraw into the, uh, into the sea. Okay, he is curious, even though, like, he's not, even though the Elder Guardian's isn't making big of movements right now. It's kind of settled down. Okay, started moving again. Hmm, apparently this one doesn't ripple the water as much. Here's the thought. Uh-oh. You got it mad. Three hits and you're a gunner. Of course, they also have the ability to fire the beams, but, uh... 
get the idea the Elder Guardian was distinctly not ready for that. Uh, Guardian can't stand in water is definitely going to be a distinctive weak point at this exact time. Again, maybe not necessarily later, but can't ascend in water. Uh, yeah, the whole undead water interaction thing is, is definitely going to get the warden in big trouble. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to have to have another one over here just to just to deal with this whole thing. But yeah, they will blindly walk right into various hazards over time. If you, so you can trick them that way. <laughs> He's just waiting for it to come up there. Elder Garden, you're gonna have to maintain some distance and shoot. It did not. And the and the warden is just sinking downward. Uh, okay. That is kind of hilarious. I'm pretty sure that before it could theoretically drown, it will just literally uh, just burrow back down and take a nap. Uh, a fish? Uh, you're safe from the warden as long as you swim at that at that depth. Just you just keep on going, fish. The, the warden is definitely deeper than you, and it's not coming back up. Uh, okay. This is just one of those things where you're going, uh, didn't see that aspect of it coming, so... Okay. But yeah, wardens are counting as undead and acting as such currently, so... Take that how you will. Uh, okay, next time I'm going to be going and exploring the ones from the Nether, which will of course include the Wither. And uh, later on uh, there'll be a bit of an uh, Ender Rampage. But for now, we got to see what some of the mobs from the overworld are like whenever they encounter uh, a, a warden. Where did it even go? Did I? I, I know I dropped it in a watery ravine. Where did you go? Oh yeah, I dropped it in this watery ravine because the fish are over here. is probably just going to go away very soon, because it doesn't take too long for them to do so. But the word's certainly shown to be a powerful combatant, even if it has a few interesting flukes as to how it works. He's hearing the fish, but it cannot get to the fish. That, 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 that is funny. That is very, very funny. <laughs> I mean, it, it's being outmaneuvered by fish. <laughs> okay, I thought that that uh, that thing with the bat was amusing. It's angry at fish. Yeah, can you ever reach some warden? I don't think so. You're stuck down there. <laughs> okay, th this is its own kind of amusing. Okay, Warden, you, you just stay aquatic and angry for quite some time. I, I'm going to go to another dimension after a while. Anyhow, uh, this has been Glitch Reaper, uh, even though I'm looking like a Steve. Um, and um, I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from you all later. And bye for now, everybody.